Hello, my name is Mr. Pendergrass, and I am the elementary instrumental music teacher at Fairmount Park School here in Seattle. Just like you, I'm stuck at home, but I'm hoping you're using the time to put in more practice on your instrument. And today, we're going to have a lesson on the trumpet. And we're going to be talking about articulation. What does that word mean? Articulation really is whether you play notes more separated or more smoothly. Music words for that are staccato or legato. And we'll talk about how we can shape our first, our tongue, and then our lips, and get our breath going to have really good, crisp, clean notes on the trumpet today. Also, we're going to play a couple songs that will help you get that articulation that you need to play clear notes. So I'm going to give you a few moments to grab some materials, and then we'll get back and get started. Okay, now that you have your materials, I want to talk to you about a word that I use that helps me practice. And if you've done some lessons with me before, you've seen this. So this word is brass, and you'll see it up there on the screen. Brass is the metal that your trumpet's made out of. And I have come up with this acrostic where every letter of the word brass is something you should do every time you practice. B is for buzz and breath. We're going to do that today. R is for repetition and rest. That's what you'll do when you practice by yourself. A is for articulation and agility. We're really going to spend time on that first A, articulation, in today's lesson. S is for sing it. And the final S is for share it. If you don't have a plan, use the brass method to help you think about things. And today we're really going to be focusing in on that A. Articulation is just whether you play notes short or separated or long and smooth. And the way we do that requires us to really think about things that are happening that you can't see. So I'm going to ask you to really concentrate on paying attention to what's happening when you think about articulating a note today. All right, let's begin with our mouthpiece and do some buzzing. We're just going to pick a note kind of in the middle and do some buzzes. You can buzz along with me. You can tell I'm not warmed up, so I'm going to buzz a little bit more. Some sirens. Now we're going to do a really purposeful warm-up to get our tongue ready to do some really crisp, clear articulation. And I want to talk to you about two rhythm syllables that we're going to use today. And I'm going to put them up on the screen. It's do and due day. Now if you know those notes up there, one is a quarter note that I'm calling due, and the two other ones combined together with that beam are called due day. You may have learned from another teacher ta ti ti or one, two, and. It doesn't matter, but for my purposes I want to use due and due day. I'm going to tell you why. Due is a great shape for your mouth when you're going to play your trumpet. And it also really put your tongue in the place to get those articulated notes that are nice, crisp, and clean. And this is an exercise from the book that I adapted and put the syllables do and do day underneath. So the very first thing I want to do is say this rhythm using do and do day. I'll do it one time and then you can join me the second time. And it goes like this. One, two, three, four. Do, 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 day, do. Do, 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 day, do, 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 day, do, 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 day, do. Now, if you had some music like that in front of you, you wouldn't have to write do and do day underneath. My students don't do that. But it really helps them to think about the rhythm before they play. This is that sing it part in the brass method. Let's do it together. Do's are quarter notes, one sound on a beat. Do days. Are those paired eighth notes? Two sounds on a beat. Ready? One, two, ready, and. Do, 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 day, do. 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 Now, we're going to do this again. And I really want you to pay attention to what your tongue is doing inside your mouth. The reason is, when we start adding our mouthpiece and our trumpet, we can really lose 
crisp, clean articulation. So let's start again. We're going to do the do do day pattern and really pay attention what your tongue is doing inside your mouth. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Do, do, do day do. 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 What did you notice? If you were carefully paying attention, you notice that when you say do, the tip of your tongue hits the roof of your mouth right behind your top front teeth. And the same thing for do day. That is what we want to have happen when we add our mouthpiece. So now we're going to add our mouthpiece and we're going to buzz this rhythm. But we're going to be very careful that we still put our tongue in the same spot. We're going to think do, do day. And we're going to try to do two measures on one breath. So have a lot of breath behind you. It should sound like this. Do, 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 day, do. Try it with me and listen very carefully. You ready? One, two, three, four. sounds like if you're doing it wrong and see if you can notice the difference one two three four you probably noticed I wasn't using my tongue to separate all of the do's and do days and this happens with a lot of students because once they put the mouthpiece on they're thinking about buzzing Got to think about that air and your tongue first. Also, sometimes I see and hear students do this. One, two, three, four. I'm going to stop because it sounds really terrible. But they take a breath before every single rhythmic note. It sort of sounds like the rhythm, but we want it to be really crisp and clear. So let's try it again. We're going to do all of this before we even play it. This is really important to me, and I hope it's important to you, too. You ready? Do, do, day. Now, don't sing it like this. Still make that shape with your mouth. Still get your tongue in position. But let's try it again, okay? Here we go. One, two, ready, go. Was it crisp? Was it clear? I'm going to grab my trumpet. Now, take your trumpet with that same attention to our tongue. And on one breath, if you possibly can, play as many of those notes on one breath. Your tongue is just breaking up the air. One, two, three, four. Play it the wrong way. Two, three, four. My, my tongue's not doing anything. It's just sitting there on the bottom of my mouth. Unless you had an x-ray machine, you wouldn't see that your tongue is just moving back and forth. Let's try it again. One, two, three, four. some time. Really listen. If it doesn't sound good, start the process over. Sing it. Do, 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 day, do. Buzz it. And then play it. So take some time to practice that on your own. All right. Now we are going to take what we've learned about using our tongue to separate those notes clearly and play a song. This is in our band method book. It's on page 13. It's called the Jim Along Josie. In fact, why don't we say this rhythm first with do's and do days. You can do this with me. Ready? One, two, three, four. Do, 
do, do, day, do, 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 day, do, 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 day, do, 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 do. So I'm going to play it, and this time, listen and see if I really get those nice, crisp, and clean do's and do days. One, two, three. is really paying attention to where your tongue is landing on the do's and do days. You ready to try it with me? One, two, ready, play. Take some time to practice that. Listen to yourself. If it gets kind of weird like this, you can hear that it doesn't sound right. It doesn't mean you're a terrible person. It just means you're not using your tongue in the way to get a crisp, clean note. Do, do, day. Do, do. So I want you to practice that now. I have not lost my mind, but do you know that famous song? You probably recognize the melody from an overture of an opera by Rossini. It's a very, very famous trumpet part. It goes a lot faster than that. In our band method book, we have a version of this song that I think is kind of fun to do. It's not that fast, but it'll really help us think about articulating our notes. Here it is on the screen. Let's sing it with our do's and do days. Are you ready? And let's start with this pitch. Two, ready, and do, 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 day, 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 do, do, do. Okay, I think we're ready to play this. Okay, sit tall, lots of breath, do's and do days. One, two, ready. <laughs> Practice this on your own for a little bit. Okay, I did a lot of talking today about what's going on in your mouth. And I want to just review. If you can think about where your tongue is going, you will make crisp, clean sounds on the trumpet. You will get an articulation for separated notes that sounds really great. So take the time to practice. And you know, really be a teacher to yourself. What does that mean? Well, if we were having a lesson live and I was listening to you, I would tell you what I hear. Uh, and your do doesn't sound clear enough. You're not tonguing every note. And then you would fix that. You might not have a teacher at your house, so you have to be the teacher, but now you have the knowledge. A lot of people are more concerned about playing songs that sound okay rather than playing them really well. I want you to play them well. I would rather have you play two songs really well than maybe five or six poorly. So listen to how you play. If it doesn't sound right, change something. Maybe you need to sing it. Maybe you need to then buzz it and then play it. But if you can build upon these steps, you will become a better trumpet player, figuring out what's not working and change it because you are the boss of your instrument. All right. I hope you've had a good lesson and I hope to see you next time.